Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, Tech Industries. If you ever need someone to show up to your place of business and or work and burn the motherfucker down, go ahead and call Tech Industries, they'll square it away for you. Why you would do this, we don't know. We don't condone our sin. So, that's between you and them, and you and them. Anyhow, moving straight into today, today we're going to be talking about a group, man, that, uh, you know, we actually weren't aware of or anything like that. But I'll tell you what we are aware of, and that's Hopeless Records. You know, we've followed Hopeless for years, man. We've appreciated and liked a bunch of artists on there, uh, you know, throughout the decades. And, uh, you know, it's been it's been a great mutual experience, uh, you know, that we've had with uh, this record label. And what they've put out and what we've come to enjoy and like and all that and appreciate from them. But, of course, today we're going to be talking about Emma Rosa. The album in question is Peach Club. And, man, uh, <laughs> this one's hard. Because the group is good, all right? Musically, uh, you know, these guys can play their instruments, all right? Uh, so it, it's hard to do a review of this because of that aspect. Uh, and it's not hard to do a review of this because I just don't like them. Uh, so it's almost like, uh, you know, all these mus musicians got together and individually if they were paired with any other group of artists like any band that any of them could be in would be good bands but it's just the fact that they all are the ones together uh you know that really kind of uh man like they're all good but they don't meld for us anyhow you know maybe we're just way far off our rocker and you know we're too old to experience uh you know rock and roll how it should be nowadays uh but you know for this one it's it's a little disheartening for uh for us um you know there it, it, there's you know hit points in album songs on this one uh where <laughs> i just had to skip to the next track uh and you know it's just not what i would expect to be put out by hopeless records um you know for, and like i said these guys they they know how to play their instruments musically they they synergize and all that and they got some good aspects to them so for anyone that's in the the you know mood for some lighter kind of rock it might be up your alley uh but yeah this, this one ain't for us uh you know and to to sum it up man uh like how can all american rejects be harder than these dudes all right now you think about that question for a while and then ask yourself hopeless records what are you doing get on the ball because you've fallen off the wagon that doesn't have to make sense, but it does if you listen to this album. So, once again, Amorosa, I'm sure they're good dudes, uh, you know, they're talented, but together uh, leaves me one a little to a lot more uh, that's offered in it. So, kind of is what it is. Who are we? No one. No one cares. Uh, you know, check them out if you feel like it, or don't. Do what you do. But, uh, yeah, Amorosa Peach Club, what do we think of you? Yeah. You get a, you get a, eh, eh, because that's pretty much what it is to us, anyhow. Who are we? No one, no one cares. Except you. Thanks, Ma. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.